So this is it, chat. And honestly, look at this. I mean, come on. Everything is all over the place. You have Firebase Z, like, what? Dark Ashore? Dead of the Night? It's abysmal. It's abysmal. So, chat, you know what I actually did? I figured out how to get to Noah J456's tier list. And I'm doing my tier list on his, dude. I've added a my favorite section. And in this my favorite section, this is basically just my biased favorites. So, boys, let's start off with that. Y'all know that my top zombies map is GK. It's GK. It's still Garod Krovy. Don't even get upset. It is by far the greatest zombies map in terms of what I love about zombies. So chat, let's get into the criteria of this list because Noah J didn't do that. So when we're ranking these maps, I, I think there's about three or four categories that we have. We have gameplay, absolutely. We have Easter egg, number two. We have how iconic is the map, so iconicism and replayability so like let's say it has a good map layout whatever that would kind of fall under replayability so those are our four criterias and that is why to me gk chat there's a reason i play 20 plus hours of gk in like the first two days man it's because i can't get to goddamn round 100 on this goddamn map man so boys it's got a great layout the replayability well you saw it firsthand with me it's got a great lot map layout, an incredible Easter egg that doesn't make you look up Mr. Ryle's Ruffle Waffles Cronorium, but it actually does just for one step. So that's the only that's the only bad part. Uh, but the Wonder Weapon's pretty cool though. And I only have one more other favorite. This is Call of the Dead. It's Call of the Dead, and the sole reason why is Call of the Dead is a fantastic map. Also, Garod Krovy has an incredible boss, probably the best boss fight on BL3 chat, right? The best boss fight on BLTGK? I think so. Call of the Dead, to me, is like iconic. Iconic map layout. Iconic map scenery. It's not Noah J456 lackluster. If you put it lackluster, you've never played BL1. Noah J456, man. Get him out of here. B tier? Okay, I would accept this. But for me personally, it's one of the best maps of all time. I wish certain Wonder Weapons were buffed. There is a version that certain weapons are buffed, and I'm going to stream that for you guys. Chat, would you love me to go for a regular Call of the Dead round 100? I think that would be fire. But man, I love this Easter egg. The Easter egg is so much fun. One of the first Easter eggs ever. It's got a great boss. George Romero keeps you from camping, keeps you on your toes, gives you the Wonder Waff. How could you say it's bad? I don't think so. Now, chat, let's also get this out of the way. The worst map, we all know, it's the Torture Path. The Torture Path is terrible. Torture Path was the third DLC of World War II Zombies, chat. The Torture Path is by far the worst zombie experience that you also have to pay for. You have to pay for the Torture Path. Chat, one in the chat, if you paid for Torture Path. Goodbye to that $15. You're never seeing that shit again. And you know what? I think I lost $15 on Tortured Path 2. So we're all tortured at the end of the day. The real Tortured Path was trying to refund our purchase of this map, bro. <laughs> but the reason why it was bad... Again, it doesn't hit any of the criteria that I love. Literally no replayability. It has a bad Easter egg. A lot of the map was just scrapped and scraped together i'm gonna do this to you guys i'm gonna do this to you guys let's do it here i'm gonna choose revelations let's go let's go a little bit out of the pack here chat i know i kind of screwed up on my list with noah and i was kind of making fun of revelations radioactive thing but i think it's a b tier are we okay with a b tier i think it's a b tier i don't think it's great I think there was so much more expectations for Revelations on launch. And, like, I know a lot of people were disappointed. Only two new rooms. Remember, only two new rooms. The spawn room and the pack punch room. So, I'm going to put it at B. I think it's a respectable pick. Like, 
I think you're fine putting it at A, B, A to C. Like, it was still a cool map, and we all wanted it at the time, to be fair. We were all like, dude, we want a map that is combined. The Easter egg's pretty fun once you know how to do it. The map layout's great, honestly. High rounds is fun. Replayable. It, I come back to it. But, chat, I would say that I come back to it probably the least out of BL3, maybe apart from Zetsubo. Let's put all the S-tier maps in, okay? And this, there's an argument that I wanted to make here. Let's put in all the S tier maps. And I'm going to explain why I'm putting all of these in S. These four maps, I feel like, are like the four horsemen of the apocalypse to Call of Duty Zombies. They are all incredible maps. And they are all interchangeable. So, like, one day, I might just be like, Oh, you know, I actually really like shadows over everything. And you know, Treyarch did give the most love out of all four of these maps to Shadows of Evil. And I would say absolutely. It's a great wonder weapon. It's got the swords for every player. It's got the Apothecary Servant. I wish the upgrade was on it. Replayable. Possibly one of the most beautiful maps ever. Right? But then it's like, well, I love Origins for Easter Egg speedrunning. And it's got some great intricate tricks. People are still trying... What am I listening to? What the... It's like, is someone shitting in the background? What's going on? Who's shitting in the background? Okay. But uh, Origins is incredible. It's got so much intricacy to it. It's iconic. It's replayable. And chat, Panzer on round eight. Is that not the most over spammed meme of my entire chat? And now, now I've ruined the chat with that. So, Origins started it. Origins started it all, dude. It, it, it was one of the greatest, I think, chat, possibly one of the greatest Blundell maps ever. But then it's like, well, Mob the Dead is great, too. They went to Alcatraz. They studied it. It's got a great map layout. It's got possibly one of the greatest stories in all of Call of Duty Zombies. Super replayable. Fun Easter egg. Not hard. Super beginner friendly, which is why I play Mob the Dead with a lot of people. Because it's like the best bang for your buck map. But then it's like, well, Derizadrak, you know? Derizon Drax got an incredible, an incredible, incredible boss fight. It's got great wonder weapons. It was so popular. It was like almost a refined version of Origins and let's say like Shadows of Evil, you know? So these four maps, chat, are truly interchangeable. They belong in S, but in any order. Like it's all preference. But for chat, I'm going to put it in this particular order. So Garad Krovi is my number one. Call of the Dead is my number two. Origins will be my number three, then Mob of the Dead my number four, and then Shadows I will leave here, and DE as my number five. Respectable chat? I think a lot of the community is going to hate me because, again, these maps come from non trayer games, but chat, these maps are also S tier. These maps, these three. Spaceland, Nine, and Ancient Evil, all S tier. They are all S tier. All incredible. So, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So, we have our four interchangeables. But for these three, I would say that it's a... It, to me, personally, this is a locked-in order. Spaceland is by far, to me, better than all of BO4. Spaceland, I don't know what it was about it. But Spaceland was like a home run map. It was an incredible map. It, like, if this was in BO3, it would it could possibly be up here, right? Spaceland had, like, dude, they literally made a theme park at COD XP, basically, for the Z house to go and play Spaceland. It was crazy. Possibly one of the greatest zombie ma map layouts ever. The rides are fun. The traps are fun. The wonder weapons are fun. The Easter egg is fun. The boss fight is fun. Everything is fun. It, it, it's, it's a near-perfect map. It's, it is by far the best Zombies map on IW Zombies. And it's too bad that nothing ever really got close to Spaceland. So truly, it's an S-tier map. Now, chat, let's talk about this. BO4. The two best maps on BO4, in my opinion, are 9 and Ancient Evil. And I know the common debate is, is 9 better than Ancient Evil or is Ancient Evil better than 9? Now, to me, 9 is the best map. It is the better map solely because of, T 
to me, the boss fight was more exciting. Even though Ancient Evil's boss was really cool. The Pegasus was really cool. Uh, Ancient Evil did a crazy thing with the story and actually made people care about Chaos, but then F, F for Chaos, because that shit's not coming back. It's not coming back. Um, so chat, either way, you can interchange these. But for me, 9 is better just because of the layout. I think the Easter egg is more fun. Uh, I think the, the BO4 perk system works way more on 9 than it does on Ancient Evil. I agree. But, chat, these, I think, are all my S-tier maps. I really think so. Chat, let's make a poll. Is 9 better or is Ancient Evil better? I think Ancient Evil potentially has the better weather weapons, but I think 9 has the better Easter egg and is more fun. More, um, I like the boss fight more. It's, more, it's way more exciting to me. Um, so, yeah. Another painful map. Infection. Garbage. Garbage. The fact that Noah J456 put infection in D tier is absolutely disgusting. The reason why this map is so bad is because by round 30, the whole map locks up three out of the four rooms and you can only play in a sewer. That is the worst mechanic ever introduced into any zombies map ever. Like granted... The only reason I put it above Torture Path is it's a playable Zombies map, number one. And high rounds are actually not too bad to get on Infection. But other than that, the Exo Zombies movement, the map layout, the replayability, the Easter egg, you're literally making a hamburger. Noah J, how did it get to D? How did it get to D? You're making a hamburger in this Easter egg. How did it get to D? I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Garbage straight foul and the wonder weapon is bad chat one in the chat if you remember the magnetron <laughs> the magnetron holy shit i'm plugging my nose saying that that's absolutely disgusting so bad so bad F oh my god infection f beyond painful i i like chat if, if a map goes in my f i never want to play it ever again and and that is what i'm trying to say and another map i never want to play again is beast from beyond f possibly one of the worst zombies maps ever terrible map it introduced one of the greatest one of the greatest bosses ever in all of Call of Duty Zombies, Mephistopheles. That is Beast from Beyond's only saving grace. Really. Other than that, Extinction? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And you're in a space? Uh-uh. Terrible map. Easter Egg is bad. Wonder Weapon is from Extinction. Are there even zombies on this map? I can't even remember. Terrible map. Terrible map. Move it to E for Mephistopheles. The reason why I don't is simply because we're talking maps, right? If I was talking about the boss fight mode, oh, bro, I'd put that in, like, A. But, nah, it's bad. It's bad. Like, Mephistopheles doesn't even feel like it's part of Beast from Beyond. And that is why it is god-awful. Worst, worst, worst IW map for sure. Another painful map chat, I don't care. Blood. Blood of the Dead is by far... One of the worst zombies maps ever created. And that is solely because of Mob of the Dead. Ch I never want to go back to Blood ever again. Again, it's kind of like Infection where high rounds are really good on it. Easily, Blood of the Dead, easily the worst Easter egg ever created. By far. By far. The, easily one of the worst Easter eggs. The Easter egg cutscene is great. The story is great. But chat... Again, like, I know a lot of people saying I'm being too harsh with blood, right? And, like, maybe you would put it in here. Or maybe you would even put it in average, right? But the reason why it sucks so much to me is because Mob of the Dead exists. Another F chat, and honestly, I would play this over Blood of the Dead, is Bus Depot. Bus Depot is F. I think the reason with Bus Depot that makes it bad is... It's, it's literally a map that's worse than Nocturne Toten. How is that even possible? 
But Bus Depot makes it possible. You have lava zombies. Chat, have you ever gotten past round 20 on Bus Depot? No, you have not. Can't believe Noah put Bus Depot above farm. That's what I'm saying. He has literally no idea what he's talking about. Like, Bus Depot past round one is boring. It, it, like, I don't ever want to replay it. I don't ever want to, like, chat. Isn't there, like, a statistic on Bus Depot that you have a 1% chance of getting a Rega Mark II? What the fuck are you doing? Why would people even try? Like... On co-op, this is about the only amount of fun I can see from this map. Let's rate Dead of the Night here. I think Noah J456 did this map a disservice, chat. I think Noah J456 did this map a disservice. And here, let me tell you why. I think Dead of the Night is not painful. I don't think it's even bad. I don't think it's lackluster. I don't even think it's average, chat. I think Dead of the Night is like at the bottom of good. That's where I think Dead of the Night belongs. Easily chat. One of the most beautiful zombies maps. Unfortunately, the BO4 system fucks it. That's the problem. The Easter egg, once you get to know it, is fun. Yes, this map is way more co-op than it is solo. Loud ones at 3 a.m. chat. Like, literally, this map is what created that video. Honestly, it's the truth. It's a good map. Unfortunately, the launch of this map got absolutely fucked. Like, chat, if we were rating this list on launches of Zombies maps, it would be here. It would be double F. It had the worst, the worst launch ever. Like, of any Zombies map ever, period. Like, actually even worse than Tortured Path. So, that's the problem. Dead of the Night got fucked by a terrible launch. Um... The characters, I do have to say, they kind of suck. And I heard that basically the problem with Dead of the Night was it could have been released for BO4 launch if things were prepared earlier with the map. But again, F, like, launch was a straight triple F tier. But in terms of the map layout and its co-op and the Easter eggs, it's the... Ah, here it is. Frozen Dawn. Painful. Chat. One in the chat if you remember Frozen Dawn. Frozen Dawn is awful it is like i've probably played this map three times try to attempt the map like chat you remember my sleep stream on the launch of the map i was literally number one on world war ii zombie section fucking sleeping in the front of the menu of this dlc it's a not good map noah j literally left this map to play fortnite i don't even do i need to say much more i don't think i need to say much more after that like, granted, I would play Frozen Dawn over Bus, over Blood of the Dead, over Beast, over Infection. Yes, I would play it over all of these. But again, my F tier is maps that I just will never play again. I will never fucking play any of these maps again. I don't like them. Frozen Dawn, again, the Wonder Weapons, I guess, were kind of cool. But at this point in the story, the Easter Egg and the story was so bad. Like, it just fell through. The map layout, I don't think, was that great. The map was kind of complicated. Chow, out of 10, what would you rate Frozen Dawn? Honestly, I would probably give it, like, a 1. It was pretty foul. The last map that goes in F tier has to be Voyage of Despair. It is at the top of Painful. Yes, I would play it over all of these maps. Voyage is awful. It is truly the worst map on BO4. Next to Blood of the Dead. I think Blood of the Dead is worse, but Voyage is bad. Voyage is just... The reason what makes it so bad is it's just so much missed potential to me. Terrible Easter egg. Um, no emotion felt in the map. You basically... Treyarch said, why don't we just go on Titanic and, t and time stop everything so nothing really matters. Making the whole point of us being on the Titanic fucking useless. You're shooting planets. The map is way too fucking confusing. Like I said in my last, last video, go left, go right. It doesn't matter because you're going to end up in fucking Japan. You don't know where you're ever going on this map. High rounds are terrible. The bosses on this map are terrible. Chat, where is Zoo? Zoo is up here. But just think of it in spirit. Did I ever tell you the story that I remember going to play BO4 early, right? And I remember I was sitting and I think I was playing next to like JC or Blundell or something. 
And I, I, when I picked up the Kraken chat, I didn't even realize it was the Wonder Weapon. I was like, dude, what is this? Like, it, it, I thought it was so bad. And, and Blundell must have been looking behind me in fucking tears. Because I know that this was the map that he worked on. They spent way too much time trying to make it photorealistic accurate. And adding way too many ridiculous easter eggs that no one will ever remember. And it just fell through. Let's get into the bad maps now. Darkest Shore. Bad. The only reason I put it in bad is like I actually kind of like the boss fight of this map. Um, It's not too bad. But chat, I, gray is the worst color in Call of Duty. It's the reason why I don't like watching shit like Modern Warfare 2019. Because you're right, it's just fucking gray. You can't fucking see. And chat, they like up the fog on this map. The Easter egg is not bad. The Wonder Weapon, the Ripsaw, pretty cool. It's a bad map though. Like... There's very few gratifying features on this map. It was the DLC 1 of World War 2 after the final Reich, which is an awesome map. And then they just failed with Darkest Shore. Terrible map. Garbage. Absolutely garbage. The fact, the fact that Noah J456 put this shit above Raven the Redwoods where you can actually see and it's bright colors. Foul. Uh, another map in bad chat. Let's talk about it. Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Awful. You can see more in Attack of the Radioactive Thing than in the Darkest Shore, but also the Torture Path, Attack of the Radioactive Thing, and Dead of the Night had some of the worst marketing ever in Call of Duty Zombies. Granted, the Easter egg is really good in this map. It's long, it's convoluted, it's interesting. The map idea is cool. I just like it just doesn't connect for me. It doesn't connect. The boss is actually pretty awesome. I will say that. The Krogzilla, it's great on Director's Cut. Yeah, on Director's Cut, I might even put it at like the bottom of average. But in general, it's a bad map. It's a bad map. There's very few redeeming things. Also, like the texture quality in some areas of this is bad. You have to do math. What the fuck am I whipping a long multiplication and division and call duty zombies for? This one was a long time coming. But boys... Need I say more? Need I say more? Transit is bad. Transit is bad. Can we just get a Drake in the chat? Tra Transit, like I said, in the Noah J456 in re reaction video. If Transit is anywhere in S or your favorites, you're a criminal. You are a felon. And this map, like, yes, I would play Transit over all of these maps. I would. Honestly, I would. I would play, I would play transit over literally all of these maps. I would, I actually would, I would. And, and that's the thing that I'm trying to make my list according to. I would pick, I would play infection over the torture path. This one over this one, this one over this one, you know, but transit, it is crazy chat that like only 10 years ago, right? This was the worst zombies map. No, not even 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago, like nine years ago. Chat, you remember when Transit was the worst Zombies map? Look at all the maps I added afterwards. They all came after Transit. Bus Depot over Blood? Yeah, I would literally play Bus Depot over Blood then. It's the truth. So true. Transit, terrible map. We all know why. Awful. Kaka, pee pee, poo poo. Uh, chat, if Cold War brings it back, I would love to rank a remaster. And chat, I would love to see a new remaster transit in B. That would be fucking incredible. We all know why transit's bad. I need I say more. I'm not even gonna say anything. Uh after transit chat, guys, what do you guys think about this? This may be a controversial pick to y'all. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of this. Farm is above transit. Farm is above transit for me. What do you guys think? I would play farm over transit and, but I still think it's bad. I still think it's bad. The reason why I like farm over transit, number one, is when I play transit, I'm not playing for a good time, right? I'm only playing for co-op. Granted, yes, they're both terrible maps, but to me personally, 
I would play farm over transit because I can load up farm. I can have fun. I can grab perks. I can, you know, just go around the map. It's actually farm is chat. Have y'all ever played eight player farm? It's fucking fun. I like farm on like a high co-op time. That is actually like grief on farm. If nobody gets jug, it's way better than transit. Another controversial pick, but I think Shaolin Shuffle is above it. Shaolin Shuffle is a bad map. I played it with Noah J recently. It's a bad map. Granted, a lot of the features of this map were really cool. They added a wolf sword. They added like karate and shit. It's just, it's unfortunate because the Easter egg is terrible. Um, and the map itself, the layout's not too bad. But man, the Easter egg is terrible. And that's like mainly the main thing about this map. So again, the, the karate, it's cool. That fucking two pixel rat. Uh -uh. But would I play Shaolin over Transit? Absolutely. It's terrible map, but I actually would play Shaolin over Transit. All knew it was here. And I can't, honestly, I can't believe I'm putting it this high. Die Rice. Die Rice. Die Rise. Die Rise is awful. Die Rise is a filler map. It is a bad fucking map. Would I play Die Rise over Transit? Yes. Yes, I would. Die Rise. Chat, what I'm really excited though about Die Rise? Die Rise with the stamina up on Cold War? Oh man. And if they make it really different, it could be like a B tier map. It seriously could be like a B tier map. The remaster could be insane. But the, again, Die Rise is the most filler zombies map ever made. You could take it out of the whole story of Victus and the whole storyline would be the exact same. Um, the only funny thing about uh, Die Rise is MLG Die Rise intro that Pyrocynical edited for me back in 2015. Shout out to my boy Pyrocynical. Um, PhD T's Like, chat... Jimmy Zielinski was off the fucking cocaine when he made this map. High rounds, though, can be fun, but once you do the Slicker Fire around 100 strat, then that's kind of it. You're kind of done with the map. So it, it, it has a hard limit on how much replayability it has. So bad map. Would play it over Transit. Would play it over all these maps. It's garbage, though. Chat. Honestly, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I think I'm going to put this map in the top of bad controversial pick alpha omega top of bad it alpha omega is awful it is a bad map it is a bad map it has some redeeming qualities uh the storyline is not good but no i i don't even think alpha omega deserves lackluster to me it's like the top of bad it's like the best of the bad maps uh, Rushmore is awful. It's just almost like a Sophia clone from GK. The map sucks. It's like chat. What other map in Call of Duty Zombies can you get to round 100 with a fucking ballistic knife? Tell me, dude. There's no other map. There's literally no other map. This is the only map you can get to round 100 with a fucking ballistic knife. You don't even have to pack a punch it. Okay, let's go. Next, lackluster map, Carrier. I said it. I said it. I think Carrier is better than all these maps. Uh, granted, the Easter egg is actually quite fun on this map. I think that Carrier could be one of the best Exos maps. Could be. Uh, the map layout's fun. It added one of the first two spawn rooms. So, honestly, like, I think it's right here. I, th I think Carrier goes, like, right here. Um... Again, you can you can disagree. I think definitely one of the better Exos maps, a hundred percent. Uh, chat. I'm, I'm only. I think I'm only gonna put one map in my lackluster tier. Uh, Rave. Rave goes above care for me. Again, it's like the best of the worst maps. It had a great amount of like super cool Easter egg steps, really cool visuals. The map layout again, not that great the zip lining were cool again i think the reason why this map is so lackluster is because of spacelands release 
Spaceland, like, it just exceeded everyone's expectations. And then we were like, bro, DLC 1 is going to be so good. And then, like, DLC 1 came. Didn't Rave's Easter egg get solved in, like, 90 minutes? Or was it, like, 8 hours? It was something ridiculous. Oh, I think this one's a little controversial. Shang is the bottom of average for me. I think Shang is, like, the bottom tier of what makes an average to good map. I think high rounds on this map are great. I think the Easter egg co-op is fun, but I think it is like right at the bottom. I think it is right at the bottom. Town is the bottom. See, nah, man. I would even put town in good. I've had more fun experiences on town than Shang. Shang is just a really short-lived map. It's so small. It's so condensed. There's so much action that's happening all the time. Most of the games you play on co-op on Shang end in round 20 to 30. Just because the fact that like... It's just too small. It is it is a really beautiful map. In in terms of visuals, triple S. Triple S. One of the better Easter eggs. Map layout is okay. One of the better Wonder Weapons. But granted, I think really what hinders this map is replayability. And like, just the layout. The layout of this map is just not it, I think. Um... The rare zombies are hard to deal with. Like, if you want to challenge, Shang is your map. Shang is totally your map. But for me, it's still a good map. But it's like the bottom of average, right? It's the bottom of average. Uh, again, I think this map just needed more space. It needed to be more bigger. Shangri La is on Mars, chat, yes or no? Why the fuck do people think it's on Mars? Motherfuckers can't breathe on Mars. What are you talking about? <laughs> Shangri-La is flat, guys. Okay, chat. Next map for average. Uh, people are going to be upset at me. Knocked. Knocked. Also, Noah J456. It's not knocked or toting. Knocked or toting. You can't rank knocked badly. You can't put knocked below a C. It's physically impossible. If you put knocked below a C, then everything has to be below knocked. Like, I I don't get motherfuckers that put knocked in like F. You can't put knocked in F. You literally can't. The reason this even gets a spot again, it's fully iconicism. But again, knocked has possibly some of the best high rounds in all of Call of Duty Zombies. Great high rounds on World at War. BL3 version has some fun high rounds. The BL1 version, you get Mule Kick and the Thunder Gun. Awesome map. Again, high rounds, uh, chat, I had more fun on Nocturne and Totem high rounds than literally all of these maps. 100%. And it's the first map. Another World at War map I'm going to put actually above Nocturne and Totem. And before I actually changed this in my map ranking video, I had Shino Numa below Noct. But chat, after my round 1,000 high rounds, Shino Numa is by far the best zombies map to attain high rounds if you are a high round player shino numa is the best zombies map shino numa had some of the best glitches as well so much fun back in the day uh map layout's fun it's a different unique spin on world at war again my previous list i put knocked above it but again the high rounds changed this for me completely changes for me i wish this map had an easter egg i wish chronicles added these maps with easter eggs um and I guess that's why they're simply not higher because these maps have Easter eggs. Uh, but Shinonuma, really good map. What do you guys think of this? Gross in house and average. I know it's World War II zombies. I know it's World War II zombies. I know people shit on World War II zombies. I get it. But this was the best survival map on World War II zombies. And for the intro of World War II zombies, this was possibly the most hype i've ever been for a zombies mode i'm being 100 dead serious i'm being 100 dead serious i remember doing that intro where you're crawling under the plane and you come out and you go into gross and house that was one of the best tutorials in zombies ever and if you denounce that that's okay but it was actually really hype i really liked it better than knock yeah for me it was for me it was again like I said, I think these maps are average. Like, these you could definitely interchange. But to me, the intro was really interesting. 
the map is way too small but again i think so, it, it, that's what gives it it's like it, it's exciting flavor and it's quick and it's fast and it's engaging so chat again this one's definitely more of a controversial pick above gross and household Verrucked. I think Verrucked is the second best World at War Zombies map. I don't know why this map gets so much unnecessary hate. This map is the scariest zombies map in all of Call of Duty Zombies still to this date. There is no zombies map scarier than Verrucked. I, I, I completely disagree with anyone that says that. High rounds on this map are so interesting as well. They're way more difficult than Shinonuma. And you're not going to get anywhere close to a high round on Shinonuma that you will on Verrocked. But man, this map is crazy. It is it is literally the definition of, a, of an asylum, which is crazy. And I don't think you can even really get this sort of craziness in any Call of Duty Zombies map. It takes a lot of skill. The Wonder Waff came in. Granted, the fucking Winner's Howl and BL1 was straight garbage. But the Wonder Waff and the BL3 version. Ooh! Next map chat. And I think this is the top of average. Again, another controversial pick because this is not from a Call of Duty game. Outbreak. The original. Again, I totally forgot about this map. In my last video with Noah J. But I think the first, again, I don't know what it is with new games, like branch off Treyarch games that make zombies, but the first map is always the best. Outbreak had one of the best Easter eggs on Exos. It was a great starter map. It was really fun playing it. I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it. It had a lot of cool, interesting Easter eggs. And chat, it was the first Exfil cutscene. Now I mean, come on, chat. Now I mean, come on. And yes, I think Outbreak is like the best of the average. I, I think Shangri-La is down here. Granted, you see a lot less replayability from non treyarch maps, but I still believe they deserve these spots. Now, honestly, I think it's kind of funny that I ranked it here, but I think, chat, the bottom of good is Outbreak from Cold War. Outbreak from Cold War is a good mode, but it is unfortunately nothing more than that. It is a good mode, but it is nothing more than that. And that is the problem with Cold War. It has good modes, but it's there's nothing more. You know? You doing Zoo dirty? <laughs> nah, Zoo is triple S. Okay, Zoo is above GK. We all know that shit, dude. But again, Outbreak has such great ideas. Like the Easter eggs are fun, interesting. The whole concept of the mode was interesting. But did Outbreak kill the momentum of Cold War? It unfortunately did. And that's the problem. It was a good mode, but we needed something better. We needed something better than Outbreak. It's a fun streaming mode. It was potentially, according to Treyarch, the most popular COD uh, Zombies game mode ever. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think, chat, I do think, and I think Cold War is a, has a very big problem with this. Treyarch, please stop patching shit. You're ruining shit. I think Outbreak was a lot better on launch than it was now because of all the patches they've done to the game. I know I always say that Outbreak would have been better with PvP. Chat, I really do think so. I think Outbreak would have been easily one of the best modes in all of Zombies if it had PvP. I would always be hopping on it, playing it. It would be like Warzone, but with Zombies, man. Town goes above Outbreak. But below Dead of the Night. Um, it is slightly better than Outbreak. I think... I know some people might be saying I rank Town too high. Town is the best survival map. Period. I think Town is still to this day the best survival map. The most iconic. Uh, it's just a fun map. Everyone understands Town. Grief is fun on Town. Uh, I know some people might say Town is better than Dead of the Night. This map just had way more love put into it, though. That's the thing. I think for a co-op experience, yes, you could definitely argue Town is better than Dead of Night. But Town... Ah, it's it's just a good... It's the best survival map, man. It is, to me, the best survival map that's ever been made. I feel like Noah J456, but what do you guys think of this pick? Descent above Town. Descent above Town. What do you guys think of this pick? 
I think Descent is a good map. I have to say it. I think Descent is the best Exos map. I do think so. Would I play Descent over Town? Yes. I think Town is a little bit bad on solo. Descent has a good Easter egg. It's a good map. Only problem is, is it's Exos, right? I, I think the map is good, but chat, it's not A tier good. It's B. It is like, I agree with Noah. You definitely need to play it. It's not fucking top five. It's a decent map. It's a decent map. Outbreak is better. I don't know, man. Above Descent. Hmm. Chat. Now here, let's get into another even worse pick. Even more controversial. But chat. Shadow Throne. Behind Dead of Night. World War II Zombies map. One of the better World War II Zombies maps. It is a good map. It is a good map. I have to say it. It is a good map. It has a really great layout. It has a not too bad Easter egg. The problem is World War II Zombies and very irreplayable. But it is still a good map. So, again, I know my B tier might be slightly controversial. But it's still a really good map. I think people, these two maps for sure are very underrated. Even Outbreak. Like, again, they're very underrated just because the whole system, they came out in the late DLCs. But if you played it, they were really good. So, I think they deserve this spot. I know for people that played these Zombies maps, they know that they're good. But now let's get into some better choices, boys. Uh, Moon, I think, is the worst BO1 map. But it's a, still a good map. I think Moon is a good map. I think it is quite possibly one of, again, it's the worst, again, it's a good experience. I think it's the worst BO1 map. Wait, did I put a BO1 map below? No, no, no. Shang is the worst. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Shang is actually worse. Moon goes in good though. Uh, again, I think BO1 Moon suffers from a lot of graphic fidelity. The high rounds on this map was really fun. Uh, the space man was really good. But I think Moon has a lot of problems. The Excavators suck on Moon. The Excavators suck on Moon. I don't like... I don't like the Excavators. The Easter Egg is fun. A lot of RNG though. I think it, that's what kind of puts me down. It's time. Zetsubo no Shima. I think it's below Revelations. But above Dead of the Night. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that? It's a good map. Below Rev. Above Dead of the Night. Uh, I would play Zetsubo over all of these maps. I, and that's the thing. That's always something I'm trying to say. You can always ask me. Um, would I play Descent over Town? Yes, I would. Would I play Shadow Throne over Descent? Absolutely. Would I play Moon? Absolutely. Would I play Dead of the Night? Absolutely. Zetsubo? Absolutely. To me, that's where it makes sense. Zetsubo is a phenomenal map. This map has grown on me throughout the years. I think it's launched. People gave it a lot of shit, including myself. Uh, but seriously... A good map. Great Easter egg. Phenomenal boss. Uh, the boss was okay, actually. Probably, yeah. The boss, like the phenomenal boss was really the spider. The Tokyo boss was not that great. But man, Zetsubo is a good map. I love Zetsubo because it is so different from everything. It is so different from everything. That's why I think it's a good map. What do you guys think about this? This is a crazy one. Classified better than Zetsubo. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Classified better than Zetsubo. Classified better than Zetsubo. I think it's a, I think it's an underrated pick. I I actually really like classified. Chat and again, I think another bias you can say is I love five. Chat, I'm gonna say this right now. Five is one of my favorite zombies maps of all time. Five is a great map to me. I'm putting it in great. Again, you could say that Five and Garod and Call of the Dead are biased maps for me. But I literally love Five. I know so many people in this community hate on Five. And that's why I was so excited to see Classified in BO4. Five is... I, I think people dog on Five too much. Five is a great map. 
Five and classified are great. Do I like five over classified? Yes. The reason I don't like classified, again, BO4 system, the shield, but still it's a fun map, dude. It is a fun map. Chat, I had some of, I had a lot of fun streaming the beginning of BO4, majorly on classified and nine, right? That, these were the two of the maps that I had some really insane fun. And, and then five for me is just iconic. Another controversial pick. Let's get to, through to another controversial pick. Final Reich is a good map. It is the best World War II Zombies map. It's better than all of these maps below it. I think, I think Final Reich, even though as much as I dogged on it, there was so much interest into World War II with Final Reich. You had the differences of the Easter eggs, not over Rev, yes, because it innovated more on its Easter egg than Rev did, right? And the map was actually cool. The trailer was fun. The idea of the map was fun. I think it was a great starting map. Final Reich is a good map. It is a good map. Again, you can definitely sort this in a different order. And again, it all depends on how you like to play zombies. But Final Reich is a good map still. Another biased pick by me. I fucking love Tog. It's the top of good. I love Tog Dratoten. I know so many people hate on me for loving Tog. I know some people think I'm vile. I love Tog. It is like Call of the Dead, but like a different layout. It's phenomenal. I know it's a bad end to Ether. I know it's a bad end to Ether. The Easter egg is fun. The boss fight sucks. I know there's definitely lackluster parts about Tog, but it is still a good map. I know there's piss jars. I know the Easter egg is whack. Again, I love Call of the Dead. You can easily say that my Call of the Dead choices, my five choices in GK are biased. I will totally agree with you on that. But Tog is easily one of the best maps. It's such a fun map. The, the Thunder Gun Zipline glitch chat, come on. The Thunder Gun Zipline, that easily makes it one of the best maps. This is actually where I'm going to start ranking a bunch of my Cold War Zombies maps. Because I actually think Cold War Zombies is, is still in the good range. I don't think a lot of Cold War Zombies maps hit the great range. I don't even think any of them did, to be honest. But I think a lot of Cold War Zombies maps are at the top of the good. So, chat, my next Cold War Zombies map pick is Firebase Z. It goes above Tog. Firebase Z is a good map on Cold War system. I think the problem with Firebase Z is that the easter egg is kind of whack the map layout is actually really good and i think the ray k if it was not nerfed it would still be up here right i think firebase is easily the worst map on cold war but man i i like chat again you 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 say like oh you put it above moon yes because i would rather play firebase than moon Right? And that's the, that's the thing that I always have to say. I would rather play this map over this map. This map over this map. This map over this map. Right? I think Firebase Z has way more gameplay mechanics going for it than Moon. In terms of like Moon can be very restrictive at times. But I think Firebase Z, it's a good map. Like, so you gotta include this in your video. What the fuck is this? is a good map dude another good map and i think this is above firebase z d machine i i don't care if you shit on d machine d machine was a great launch for cold war i have never seen the community as hyped for d's nuts machine as i have for any of these other maps and solely because of that it it deserves to be a good map it deserves to be a good map it has a great layout, possibly one of the best starting rooms in all of zombies. The wonder, the die sucks, unfortunately. The die suck. But the ray gun being the best wonder weapon was such a nice breath of fresh air. It was, it was great. It was great, man. I like, again, I don't even give a shit what you guys' opinions are about the map right now. The Easter egg hunt was fun. 
But dude, the machine did something that no zombies map has done for a long time. And that is why, to me, it's better than Firebase Z. It's better than all these maps below it. And it deserves a spot. The best Cold War Zombies map, 100%, is Mauer to Toten. Top of good. And that is my finalized good tier list. Mauer to Toten is the top of good. I don't think it's a great map. I think it's the top of good. But I think, like, again, if Mauer to Toten resonated for me a little bit more at the story, a little bit more, it would be the bottom of A. But I think it's the top of B. I think it's the top of B. But only one map in AA. We still got more maps to go. But Mauer is a phenomenal map. It's a phenomenal map. The Cerberus is one of the greatest wonder weapons. And it works only for Cold War. Which is why I love it. Uh, I love Mauer. Great ass map. I would play 5 over Mauer though. Co-op game of 5? Shit's unbeatable man. Into the great tier list. And again I think... We might get into some controversy here, but I think the bottom of great, and it's still just a phenomenal map, is Buried. Buried is a phenomenal map. I think if you put Buried below an A, you're crazy. I don't think, like, chat, Buried at bottom of A is, like, the lowest you can give it, and that's what I'm giving it. And I think it's simply because of the fact that, man, the map layout is phenomenal, the Easter egg is phenomenal. The sharpshooter is phenomenal. Everything about this map is fun. I think the only problem with this map, honestly, is high rounds. I think when they nerfed the Paralyzer, they fucked high rounds on Buried. Because they just made you use the, the shitty dubstep machine and all that. Buried Grief is fun. Yeah, Buried is a great map. 100%. I don't think, I don't think you could give anything lower to Buried than an A. Above Buried, and I think I have to say this, and let me know if you agree or disagree, Doris. To me, it is not the best Doris experience. I think Doris is easily, easily one of the greatest co-op experiences you can have in all of Call of Duty Zombies. 100%. Chat, my, boys, do you guys remember the video we did with Pat on Doris? The Smith plays Doris, and it was... Uh, uh, Milo, me, and Matt. Dude, this video. This was some of the most fun I've had on Doris ever. And it's simply because the map layout is so fucking good that it just makes the map phenomenal. So, yes, Doris is incredible. Absolutely. Again, another map that I say if you put this shit below A, you're a fucking criminal. I am on Doris. It's an A-tier map. Great fucking map. Great fucking map. Not a lot of experiences will beat Doris, especially in terms of its iconicism. And I think that's why I put it over Buried. Yes, you could argue Buried is a better map, but I think Doris is way more iconic and has added way more memories for me than Buried has ever. Up to interpretation. Again, maybe you had a lot of friends in BO2, so maybe Buried would be better. But again... Great maps. I think Noah J did Ascension criminally, but I'm going to put it above Doris. Again, I'm a BO1 lover. I love Ascension. Ascension to me was like the Doris of BO1. It was like you have the same aspect for the pack punch, but then you have the Thunder Gun on top of that. You don't have the shitty Wonder Waff. You have way more training area. You have so much more room to learn also the first easter egg really i don't consider the fly trap the first easter egg. yes it was the first little mini easter egg quest but let's say on the giant you get the annihilator right that's cool but the first easter egg ever uh, granted it's not the great easter egg so i i wouldn't put it even above five it's you know ascension's a great map great map you, again i don't think you can put ascension below a a or b but it's phenomenal map phenomenal map phenomenal map ascension also on boys the chronicles version of ascension one of the most beautiful maps above ascension again i think a lot of these are interchangeable with a again this like again and the a tier is very interchangeable the b tier also you could say is very interchangeable but again like i said remember dead of the night is a good map it might not be better than moon for you but i still think it's a good map um kino is above ascension for me Kino is 
arguably the most iconic zombies map of all time over Darice, I would say. Uh, because Kino was essentially where you had that massive player influx over Darice. Um, and I think solely because of that, Kino is A. Um, it's below 5 for me. Because I, I love 5. But K you can't... Argue, like, Kino is literally what invented the whole basis of high rounds for most players. It's It can't be overrated. Like, essentially, Kino started the zombie craze. It has to be an A. I think you could argue, yes, that as a map, it's overrated. But again, it's iconicism is what keeps it an A to me. I would play 5 over Kino, though. 100%. 100%. Um, but I love Kino. Incredible map. I do think Kino is better than Ascension. But again, like I said, completely interchangeable. So, chat, if, do you guys agree, though? Like, you may not agree with my order, but do you agree that these maps should be in B tier? And do you agree that these maps should be in A tier? You forgot the giant? Uh... Again, interchangeable. This is how I feel about it right now. But, chat, again, I put the most time on the giant. So, to me, it's the top of grade. I put way more time into Doris because this map was more fun for me on solo than Doris. Nuketown, I don't, we don't have it. And the rest is fucking extinction. So chat, this is my tier list. What do you guys think? Rate it out of 10. I hope that you can agree with it for the most part. Um, I think, again, you might not agree with the order, but I hope that you agree with the tiering of what I gave it. Um, because I think this is quite a good list.